All right, let's start this show. Here we go. Yeah, I'm a good dancer. We're going to be going in about, oh, a minute and a half. I just wanted to uh, say hi. Oh, we got a whole bunch of new people checking in. I want to say hello to the nice folks at LibertyOneTV.com and uh, American Journal Review, just a a bunch of uh, other uh, nice folks who wanted to carry the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion, and we appreciate you. So if you all would do me a favor, if you've never watched the show or if you have watched the show, would you check in, let everybody know who you are? I want to know who you are, and I want people, I want to be able to say your name. I mean, I can't do everybody, but I'm going to get as many as I can. So check in. Who are you a deplorable from? What's your name? Where are you hanging out? I'd love to see that. So check in right now, and uh, we're going to start the show in just a couple of moments here. I'm going to start the uh, official theme song in just a minute. Ding, ding, ding. Do, 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 Yeah. Okay. Have you started checking in yet? Like Jay? Jay checked in. How about you? He's been put down, ripped off, cut open. Now, he's unleashed. Unleashed. The American insurgency starts now. This is Rusty Humphreys Rebellion Radio. Well, hello, my brother from another mother. How you doing, my sister from another mister? Hello, welcome. My name is Rusty Humphreys, and this, this right here, this is the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion. We are powered by the nice folks at Right Wing News on Facebook and rightwingnews.com. We also um, are sponsored tonight by thetoymaker.com, by the Zona Plus, by Dermend Seasoned Citizen Creams, and I'll tell you about them in a minute, and also Wax RX, which by the way, I don't mean to get right into a, a commercial or anything, but I need to do it because um, I... I woke up in the middle of the night, and I don't know if you've ever had this before, but I I get earwax every once in a while, and it just throws me. And I'm talking 2 o'clock in the morning. It's like, and and I went, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. i got to go to the doctor tomorrow. I can't, it drives me nuts because I get dizzy. And I went, wait a second. Wax RX. Wax RX. And I went, and I I'm telling you, I pulled this thing out. And uh, you can see it's got all the uh, the equipment. I can pull it out and show you. But it's such a nice little box. But everything I need, I've got a few boxes, so I was able to pull it all out. But everything you need to clean out your ears instead of going to the doctor would have cost me a hundred and something dollars. I would have had to wait to get in the doctor. Some doctors do it better than others. I'm telling you, there's nothing worse than having earwax in your ears. Do yourself a favor. Go to waxrx.com. Use the code word Rusty if you would please. And there's there's three uses in this thing, and it really is good. WaxRx.com. Okay. Um, I don't know about you, but I I I don't like all the nasty conspiracies, all the crap out there. Um, let me do your check-ins first, and actually, I'm gonna do your check-ins in a second. I want to know who's out there. I want, I, we need to go around the mainstream media. I've talked about this before, and I know we have thousands upon thousands of, of new viewers. So if you've, if you've never seen me before, I'm, I understand. I'm, I'll introduce myself. I'm Rusty Humphreys. Hi, how you doing? And uh, I've been a radio talk show host for a long time. My show was the sixth largest talk show in America for a long time. We had, um, what was it? Over 350 radio stations. And then I just decided... I'm, you know, I, you know, they don't talk about this very much, but I do because I'm honest with you. Talk radio and radio in general is in huge trouble. Well, what are you talking about, Rusty? I listen to Rush and Sean and Mark Levin and Michael Savage, and they're all doing great. Yeah, not really. Advertisers are going away. And as advertisers have gone away, the companies, there basically are two companies that own almost every single talk radio station of, of any uh, significance in the country. One company is called iHeartMedia, and another one's called Cumulus. iHeartMedia 
is $22 billion in debt. $22 billion. billion. And they own Russia's show, and they own uh, Glenn Beck's show. I'm not sure if Hannity's with them anymore. It kind of goes back. Anyway, so then, then there's another company called Cumulus, and they are also billions and billions of dollars in debt, and they're both just on the brink of bankruptcy. And so one of the things they're doing is just jamming as many commercials in as they can, th- making it, I can't listen to them anymore. That other company, they own Michael Savage's show and Mark Levin. I think they own Hannity, a couple other ones. And I just felt that it was time to make a change. And I want to go around those companies, go around the mainstream media. Now, we're kind of running into a little bit of a problem now with um, the social media companies and how they are deciding what you can or cannot see. So one of the ways you can help us get the message out is by being interactive, engaged. That's what Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and and all the social media companies. There's a new one I found, new app I'm going to tell you about later on. Not today, but new app I found that I love. But they care about engagement. You know, they still cannot believe that Hillary lost. They can't believe it. So it must have been that people cheated. It had to have been Russia. It had to have been fake news. It had to have been uh, guys like me. It had to have been a lie. There's no way Hillary could have won, so they say. Or could have lost, excuse me. I I never understood how it was possible where Hillary could have won. I mean, one of the most unlikable human beings I've ever seen in my life. But that's here nor there. So how do we make a difference? You make a difference by letting me know who you are. Typing on the screen. Communicating. Being a part of the show. Okay? Hit the hump. Give the thumbs up. Give the hearts. The likes. If you don't like something I say, give the mad face. I don't care. Get those emojis going. And share this video. Let people know that the truth is being told every night, whether I like it or not. Whether it fits my definition of conservatism or if Democrats are right, Republicans, whatever. I'm here to just get you the truth. And so I'm here 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West every night, Monday through Friday, unless I find something better to do. So we were talking a few minutes, but let me say hi to folks real fast. A lot of people here. And again, I, liberty1tv.com is, uh, is running us, although I don't know if I've lost them because of the technical issue. Sorry. America Journal Review, thank you. We are, by the way, if you're just joining us, I'm Rusty Humphreys. Hi. And we are powered tonight by the nice folks at Right Wing News and um, sponsored tonight by WaxRx. Make sure you use the uh, promo code Rusty. And also, there's, there's a great company I'm going to tell you about in a little bit. Um, hello, I'm George Washington. Hello. 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 I'm George Washington. I don't like what's happening with my country. Hello. (laughs) It's funny. I'll I'll tell you, thetoymaker.com, and what is this all about? And Actually, you know what? I do want to tell you about it because, and then we're going to get into the show. You know, I've got a uh, a 16-year-old daughter, almost 17, and she's freaked out by what happened in Las Vegas. And then she found out that I knew a friend, Kelly, my friend Kelly Johnson, who was on the show the other night. He was there dodging bullets. And she's having a hard time with this. And so I'm doing what I can to spend time with her because, well, it's the, you know, it's the right thing to do. But what are you doing to help kids that are younger? And um, there's a great website that, I, that is a new sponsor of the show, and I really like them. It's called thetoymaker.com. And uh, the toy ma- what it is is you make toy, you download these different projects for kids, and then you cut and color and paste and and do all the different things you have. There's a great book they have called The Mysterious Math Carnival. 
And, um, oh, and I've got a darn problem with my Mac. Anyway, um, there's all kinds of, of great things. And if you just go there, go to thetoymaker.com, give me your email, email address. They'll give you some free things to check out. And they've got every ho- every holiday. The, right now they're doing Halloween. you got another holiday. Don't worry. they got them all. And so if you're looking for something, this is really a great time. I would really encourage you to do something with your young, your young kid and, and your grandchild or, or child. And just spend some time with them because they've all heard this story, whether you think they have or haven't. They, if they go to school, they have. And if you're a homeschooler, this is also great for them, too. Again, it's called thetoymaker.com. And I really appreciate them as sponsors. They're good people, and I think you'll like their stuff. Um, lots of paper toys to play with and stuff. It's a lot of fun. And that book, The Mysterious Math Carnival, go check that out, too. And you could probably find the George Washington here. Hello. I'm George Washington. Ten. That's a good impression, Rusty. You sound just like me. Okay, I'll admit, I know I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot, I know. Okay, let's do some check-ins. Let's see who's there. And uh, and do me a favor, yes, share the video. I messed up earlier that we had a technical issue, so, so we're back. So Kathy's checking in. Hi, Kathy, thank you for being here. Justin's here from Utah. Norman says, yo, what's up, people? Joy is here from Tennessee. Hi, Joy. Uh, George is in Seattle. Charity is here. Carol is here. Cody is a deplorable in Salina, Kansas. Anthony, good evening. Uh, he is a deplorable from Iowa checking in. Greg is from California. John is from Alaska. Oh, is from Michigan. Mike is from Longview, Texas. Michael is from Illinois. Hello. Timothy from North Carolina. Mary says, hey, Rusty, how's everything? What'd you find out? I'll tell you what I found out. I haven't found a ton, but we'll tell you what we think. Andrew says, yeah. Bruce is a deplorable from Chicago. Lynn is from Ontario, Canada. Jeffrey from Louisville, Kentucky. Betsy's from Albuquerque. Trevor's from Iowa. Elizabeth from Kentucky and from Florida. Brian from South Dakota. Norman. Um, yeah, Norman um, says, yeah, you're only showing one person on your video feed, but many people are on. Yeah, something. You know what? Let's just ignore it. What I believe is that these companies, these Social media companies don't want my voice to be heard and they don't want you hearing it. So they'll make it seem like nobody's watching. Or I might fall off the screen every once in a while. Or they don't push it off to as many people. I don't care. I'm going to tell the truth every night. And so you can make a difference a couple of ways. Getting engaged. Sharing the video. Telling your friends this is something they need to see. Um, checking in, doing the thumbs ups, doing the, you know, telling me who you are, commenting, all that stuff makes a big difference. And we'll go around those SOBs. The other thing, if you would go to my fa- my website, rustylive.com and sign up for my newsletter. I rarely use it, but if something does happen, I want to be able to get a hold of you and say, Hey, listen, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, whatever, um, is, doing whatever, and here's a way to find us, okay? So if you would go do that at some point, rustylive.com is the website. Natalie from Little Rock. Jason is checking in. Donna's from Texas. Jesse's from Ohio. Sylvester from San Diego. Rodney is from Columbia, South Carolina. Mark, Upland, California. Shirley is from Sterling Heights, Michigan. Anna's checking in. David's checking in. Gavin from California. Gordon's from Kansas. Ricardo from Orlando. Tony is from Kansas. Dennis, Hawaii in the house. Says I'm so much still showing only two views. Again, it's just silly. You know, let them. There's the now. Now we're doing fake broadcasting, fake social media. We just ignore them, right? We know better, and we know better because you are sharing the video. You are telling people to go watch this video. You're telling people to listen to my podcast, The Rusty Average Rebellion. We have to. Again, this is not something we're making up you're watching it right now so let's go around these bastards yes i'm going to use the word bastards that's what they are 
Natalie says, hello. Jewel loves the show. John checks in. Mary hears me loud and clear. Uh, Josh says, yep, same as last. I only says to watch. And Robert, Birmingham, Alabama. Gordon says, hello. Diane is from Bowling Green, Ohio. Anthony is laughing out loud. Myrna says, hey, George. Ian says, hey, Rusty, behind you all the way from Bonnie, Scotland. Hello, Ian from Bonnie, Scotland. Worst, ac- I'm sorry. Worst accent ever, Rusty. Ooh. I broke George. How did I break George? Let me fix him. <laughs> I never said I was good with the arts and crafts. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'll fix him later. Sorry. Dean is a gun-toting Texan. Natalie says, I'm scared to even let my kids go to school. Um, Thomas says, the eyeball thing is BS. What eyeball thing? I guess I missed that one. Oh, I fixed George. Worst accent ever yeah sorry timothy thinks it's a government cover-up betsy says i'm losing my audience okay okay a lot of more check-ins thank you myrna gordon kathleen donna thank you michael Lyndon. anyway thanks everybody Yvette checking in says, what's the subject tonight? Rusty, Miss, I, I, Massachusetts love you. Thank you. I right, here's the subject. And um, I got an email from my friend Kelly Johnson. Kelly um, was the guy who was on Wednesday, I think. I, I've known from from elementary school. We played football together. Um, at, let me let me clarify this. Kelly was the football star. I sat on the bench and watched Kelly. He, he, I, and I'll say best running back I ever saw in my life. And I've played, I've hung out with the pros, but nobody was better than Kelly Johnson. Nobody, nobody. Why that guy didn't go pro. I don't know. He says he was too small. I don't know. I just know they never caught the guy anyway, but he was at the Route 91 concert. He was there when the bullets started raining down, and he's a nurse. And he was on the show. His his girlfriend, Samantha, was there on the program. And if you missed it, you can find the podcast and listen to it, uh, iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. Or if you scroll back on my Facebook page or RustyLive.com, you can find the video. But Kelly and Samantha, they were freaked out. And do you blame them? I mean, think about it. Watching a concert, everything's great. And all of a sudden, I mean, there's there's bullets everywhere. And blood and carnage and, and you just don't know what to do and what in the world is going on. It's real easy to have our ideas sitting at home watching every stupid conspiracy theory online. It's a different thing when it's happening right there. And Kelly and Samantha were freaked out. I think they were in shock. And one of the things that Kelly talked about was he... kind of felt guilty why am I here I can't give you the answer to that Kelly other than you're a good dude but he sent me a question sent me something that he got today it says hey Kelly I have a couple questions for you please because you were there and you were able to witness the carnage Last night, it was brought to my attention that this was just a drill by our government to get practice for the real thing. Needless to say, I was very angered by this, she said. I reminded them of you and a friend of mine whose girlfriend was shot. They produced a video showing no shots being fired from Mandalay Bay. The reason I'm asking you is because I know you're a nurse and you know the difference between real and fake blood. I need to shut this person down. Could this have been a planned fake exercise? And then she writes, please, I mean no offense by even asking you this, but this person needs to be shut down. Thanks. Um, and, and Kelly wrote me, you know, WTF? 
people really think this is was fake that it was a, a government uh, f- fake thing let me assure you my friends because I was in Vegas over the weekend on Tuesday right after it happened and I talked to Kelly on Wednesday this was not fake real people really died real people really got hurt so let's clear that stupid theory up right now once and for all I saw the windows on the 32nd floor they were busted out well what about what about that one guy from the fourth floor okay I was there there was no window broke on the fourth floor well they could have fixed it okay let's say they fixed it it wasn't high enough to cause the damage it wasn't there were trees in the way there's all kinds of stuff in the way so that's what I think. I want to get your theories in a couple of minutes. Uh, Rick Maddow, that dude from uh, MSNBC, the guy that looks like Chandler from Friends. You know that guy, right? Real liberal dude. Anyway, he made a real big uh, ass of himself the other day. Uh, check this out. Uh, I saw this online just a little while ago. Who was able to assemble and set up a, enough apparently legal firepower that he, as a single person, created more victims than if he had crashed a fully loaded 747. Uh Uh-huh. More victims, 59 victims and 500. I mean, are are you just a dumbass? I mean, a fully loaded 747 would have just run over the entire, the whole crowd. And then we've heard that he had some, uh, yeah, Bill, uh, people said that there were, Sandy Hook was fake and other kind of stuff. It's just, it's just silly. A lot of people shouting out today. Thank you. Thank you for checking in. Thank you for letting me know who you are. I do like to go through these and let people know. I, I do, I do read your comments. I can't always do it all throughout the program because I'm trying to do a show, trying to think what's going on. I got I got buttons. I got things I get to push. It's a little crazy. That being said, after the show, I do like to read what you have to say. It's important to me. Your comments are important. And I try to scan them as I'm reading and try to, you know, say hi to Laura in Omaha, Nebraska, and Star in Colorado, and Sharon in Minnesota, Elizabeth in Illinois, James in Grand Rapids, Jeff, woohoo, one viewer, yes. <laughs> I love it. It says one viewer on there. It's just funny now, you know. My guess is they're just trying to get it so that when people scroll by, if they see a show that only has one viewer, well, why would you stop? Now, the truth is we have thousands of people watching right now, and we know it because people are checking in, and that's one of the reasons why you need to do it. That's why it's important, okay? That's why it's important. Jeffrey, what's up, Rusty, from Plant City, Florida? Fred says, I'm here with a full moon. William is from South Carolina. Mark says, let the truth set you free. Leslie, Vegas strong here. Natalie, mainstream media is horrible. I'm so glad I finally opened my eyes up and turned off the blinders. Yes. Thank you, guys. Patricia, thank you. Colleen, thank you. JD, thank you. Myrna, thank you. Gordon, thank you. How are the shares doing? Have you shared the video yet? I, know I hate to keep pushing you, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna allow these social media sites to tell people what they can or can't see without a fight. So I'm gonna do it every time. I'm gonna remind you: do it, do it, do it. Please share the video. Share the video. Share the video. Let people know. Paul thinks no way it was just one gunman. It was two, maybe more, with belt-fed rifles, and the and the guy they're blaming it on was a pro, dead before the first shot was even fired. Interesting. Mark says, I think maybe it was a reflection. It is an all-gas building, or excuse me, glass building. 
And that's what I saw when I was there. You know, I've stayed in the Mandalay Bay a lot of times. I used to live in Nevada. I lived in Reno, and I used to do my show out of Vegas a couple times a month. And they had a radio studio there in the Mandalay Bay, and so I used to go there all the time. And at nighttime, lights and light bounces off that building. And the Luxor is right next door. And there's flashing lights that go up on that pyramid all night long. Now, I've seen the video, and it looks to me like somebody added sound effect to it. I'll be honest, it does. But that's me. Yvette says, there are too many out here with no common sense. That's the problem. Yes, people, the horror is real. Christine says, geez, there's live footage of the fourth and fifth floor shooting and blown window photos. Okay. I didn't see blown windows at any of the place except the 32nd floor. Kristen says, I heard a theory that the guy was framed. Is there a video up until he shot himself? Paula says, yes, the shooting was not fake, but the facts they're trying to push on us are fake. There's a false flag. There is something weird. I will give you that. You know, we saw the video yesterday of the murderer's brother. I, you know, he was a little odd. I don't know how I would have handled it if it was my brother. How, I mean, think about this. Your big brother made your family millions of dollars, okay? He wasn't the nicest guy in the world, but he took care of your family, got you lots of money, and then every time you wanted to go visit big brother, he'd take you on nice trips, right? The guy talked about thousands of dollars of sushi, and they'd go for trips, and the casinos would fly them all over the world. Okay, let's be honest. If that was your big brother, you'd probably like him, even if he was a little weird. And then he shoots everything up? I mean, all those people? I mean, you got to admit you'd be freaked out. I know I would be. So people are going, yeah, he protesteth too much. I don't know. I just, I don't know what I would do differently. I mean, I mean, my big brother's an idiot, so I can't, <laughs> I can't see him. <laughs> I don't think my big brother's bought me a Big Mac. So it certainly hasn't taken me on trips. And, and here's the other thing that's interesting, a connection I have to this, a little bit, not a lot. Um, his girlfriend worked at the Atlantis in Reno. And I know the Ferrari brother, Ferrari, Farahi brothers, the owners of the um, Atlantis, have known them for years. Matter of fact, the, I, the first time I went to Israel, I went with Ben Farahi. Wonderful, wonderful guys. They, they um, are Iranian Jews. And I had one of the most interesting conversations in my life with those guys. was right after 9-11. And nobody knew nothing about anything at this point. You know, we're talking about the first couple of weeks in. And I remember sitting down with, I think it was Ben, it could have been John Farahi. The guy, again, these guys, he goes, Rusty, let me tell you, I come from nothing. I come from nothing. I mean, I'm in, I'm in Iran. And I'm in college, and I'm holding up the signs, down with the show, down with the show, and I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. And I go, what do you mean you're stupid? He goes, listen, listen, what happened to us after the show left was horrible, terrible. He says, I come to America. He says, we bought this teeny tiny little, uh, they, well, I want to do the accent for a minute. They bought this teeny little motel. And the three brothers and their wives did everything. One brother did the bookkeeping. Another one did the cleaning. Another one did the, I don't know. I mean, they just, they, they, they built a little, a little motel, right? And they built this motel into this big, giant, one of the biggest, be most beautiful casinos in Reno. 
And he's telling me this story, and it's just this inspirational story. And he says, you know what? He says, you know, now they stop every young lit, every uh, old woman who go through the security at airport. And me, I look like terrorists. They should stop me every time. Every time they should stop me. I look like terrorists. They should stop me every time. And I go, why? You want them to stop you every time? Yes, I want them to stop me every time. Why? To prove I'm not a terrorist. Wow. A lot of respect I have for those guys. Anyway, I just bring it up because this guy's girlfriend worked in the VIP section at the Atlantis. Um, certainly not going to say anything bad about the Atlantis, and we don't know anything about this woman, what she knew or what she didn't know. Uh, I'll just say that the Atlantis is a, is a great property and wonderful people there. John says, John from Arizona, why don't Democrats want to go after criminals that commit the crimes with guns? They arrest them in Chicago and let them out the next day. They always go after the law abiding. Good question. Good question. Jerry says, feds are investigating this tragedy at Las Vegas. Let's see. Fast and Furious, Benghazi, Clinton email scandal, IRS scandal, Russian campaign, etc. Where have these investigations gone? Nowhere. JFK debacle. Nowhere. Finally, the second Warren Commission admitted that most likely it was a conspiracy. Timothy McVeigh supposedly did the crime in Oklahoma City. However, McVeigh did not use one gun in that devastation. It's all about getting rid of our Second Amendment. Yep, Jerry, very well. Cody is not convinced he act that he didn't act alone. Don't know why, just have a gut feeling, he says. Phyllis says, hey, Rusty, I just found you. You used to listen to your radio program years ago. Loved it. Thank you, Phyllis. I love you. I appreciate it. We're here every night, 9 p.m. in the east, 6 p.m. in the west. And you can find me 24 hours a day on my podcast, uh, The Rusty Humphreys Rebellion. It's wherever podcasts are. And I know a lot of people don't know how to, how to get a podcast or download one. And so uh, I'm going to put a video up in the next few days on how to download a podcast. It's really easy. And a lot of people don't even know what a podcast is. A podcast is just a radio show that you can download to your phone if you have a smartphone and you can listen to it anytime you want. Instead of, for example, when I was on nationally, I was on sometimes at night and sometimes in the afternoon. You didn't know when I was live. But when you wanted to listen to the show, you had to be there, with, you know, three to six in the afternoon or at 6.01, I was off and you couldn't hear me for 24 hours, which, by the way, if you missed me, what what a wasted day that would have been. <laughs> Get it. Now, we record these shows every day and you can listen to them anytime you want. You want to listen to it at three o'clock in the morning? No problem. No problem. So that's what a, a podcast is and that's why... Um, that's why it's cool. That's why I like doing it. Let's see. Mark checking in from Salt Lake City. Mark's a surprise. No, that's my city in Arizona. I live very close to Surprise, Arizona, Mark. Mississippi checking in. Maryland says, thanks for the information. I appreciate your candor. Myrna uh, checked in and shared the video. Thank you, Myrna. Hope all your friends tune in, too. Leslie said, uh, Ronnie is from North Augusta, South Carolina. Leslie said, had to keep my son home today from school. Treats circulated in Vegas, the school district. Huh. Alan says they keep blocking him so that he's having a hard time watching the video. Oy. Mary says, not everyone posts on this board, but I do all the time. Thank you. We appreciate it. Cheryl says, InfoWars has been showing a lot of the latest info. And I'm very good friends with Laura Loomer, and she has been on the program a number of times. Um, as a matter of fact, I talked to her earlier today. She's going to be on the show either uh, tomorrow or Monday. Um, she's doing some great work. There's some things that I'm questioning, and I questioned her a little bit, and that's great. We should be questioning. Um, let's take a look, though, and spend a couple of minutes on what it looked like inside and a video um, of the uh, first responders trying to stop that shooting from inside the Mandalay Bay. <laughs> Get them down. Get them down. Hey, you guys! Get down! Go that way! Get out of here! There's gunshots coming from over there! Go that way! Go that way! There's gunshots right here! Oh, wow. That's ground level. 
It's right at the fence. Go that way, go that way, go that way. Okay, they're shooting right at us, guys. Everybody stay down. Stay down. Where's it at? North of the Manly Bay. It's coming out of a window. Hey, get behind cover. Oh my gosh. Get back. Get back. Hey, I know you are. There's multiple people shot up there. I know. Get in there. Get in there. We see muzzle flaps from the Mandalay Bay. They're from Mandalay Bay. I can see the room. Everybody get down, get down, get down, get down. Let's get down, get down, get down. Benny. I got a vest on. Benny, what? Go, go. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Go, 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 go. That way, that way, that way, that way. All right, so that that's kind of what Kelly was talking about, too, On uh, when we had him on. Uh, he was talking about how they were timing out the uh, their movements because they figured out that there would be a, a bunch of gunshots and then he'd have about 10 seconds Um in between reloading or whatever. They didn't know what it was. Kelly, again, was my friend who was there. Toby says, 22 years as a law enforcement officer, this isn't all adding up. Kathy thinks the guy was a patsy. Leslie says, they said strobe lights from the fourth floor, but those lights move all around, up and down, all around, not in the same spot. I don't know. The fourth floor one, I'm not sure about. The fourth floor, I've seen the video, the video. Do you know how easy it is? If you And there are a lot of sick SOBs in this world who want to spur on conspiracy theories. Do you know how easy it is to fake lights like that and put in audio? I'm not a video genius in editing at all, but I could do it in about 10 minutes. I'm not even kidding. It's not hard. So I have a hard time with the fourth floor video story. I do. Mark says, I don't think a 64-year-old guy had the strength or stamina to pull it off. The only thing I know about, and I talked about this yesterday, but the only thing I know about automatic weapons is I had an opportunity to fire one one time. I was in the desert in Arizona. I had a Navy SEAL with me and a couple of gun dealers, and they were kind of showing me some stuff. And it was like, hey, do you want to fire a, an automatic, a machine gun, an automatic weapon? Uh, yeah, because I'm cool. I can handle it. I'm a tough guy, right? And so I get the gun, and I do this. I pull the trigger, and it goes, Brrr, whoa. And I mean, I could not control this thing. So I tried it again, and I'm I'm trying to hold it straight at a target, and every time I fire, and I could not control it. I think after a couple of times, I was able to a little bit more. I don't remember now, but I remember going, yeah, I don't know that that's very accurate. It was weird. But I'm guessing if you're going down and you don't care what you're you're firing at, you're just kind of spraying people, brrr, it wouldn't matter if you were kind of going all over the place. And then the other thing I heard 
is that he may have been shooting at the gas tank. Because remember, and I have not heard a lot of people talk about this. Maybe they have. But McCarran Airport is right behind that thing, the runway. One of the runways, there's a bunch of private planes that are right there, helicopters that go to the Grand Canyon, stuff like that. But I guess there was some big fuel tanks there that theoretically he was trying to shoot at those and have those things go up and try to take everybody out. Oh, my God, thank God that didn't happen. (sighs) Marilyn said, did anyone check out the man in the room next to Paddock who said there were more than one man in that room? I saw the girl right after it happened. She said a lady got into a confrontation with another lady, and that one was uh, creating said, you're going to die tonight, you're all going to die tonight, and she was escorted out. Bradford said, even without it, with a death wish, you don't shoot without ear protection. So Bradford is saying, well, where's the guy's ear protection? If he was really shooting all this stuff, was because it hurts, right? I mean, it's pretty loud when you shoot guns like that. Lyndon says, Mandalay ho- Hotel owner is a big care Antifa supporter. Now, I'm not sure if it, okay, the Mandalay Hotel owner, it might be the manager. The Mandalay Bay is owned by... There's basically two main casino owners. It's the MGM and Caesars. And I think Mandalay Bay is in the MGM family. Could be wrong. And Wynn has a couple of casinos too. Trump has, Trump doesn't have a casino. He just has a hotel there. Um, but I think Mandalay Bay is with MGM. I, I, I could be wrong. Anyway, I really don't think that the owners, a big corporation, were our big KR Antifa supporters, but the manager might. I've seen some stuff that Laura Loomer has released, and like I said, we're going to talk to her on Monday. Linda says, Rusty, does the Mandalay Bay have security cameras in every hallway where the rooms are located? They got them everywhere. Got them everywhere. Great piece on Fox News. I believe is earlier today, how to understand the mind of guys like this. And I want to pull and play some of the video here for you here on the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion. By a gunman opened fire with 23 firearms in his hotel and 19 back at his house, killing at least 59 people and injuring hundreds more. According to his brother, there was no clues he would commit such a horrific attack. No religious affiliation, no political affiliation, no, he, he just... Hung out or shocked, horrified, completely dumbfounded I know you're... about this. So what goes on in the mind of a shooter like this as they shoot at innocent people? Here now to discuss this is Dr. Michael Wellner. He's a top forensic psychiatrist who has personally examined a number of mass killers. Doctor, thank you for being with Good us. Morning. What, what happened? What's going on here? Well, if you want to understand the killer, the most important place to start is with the victims. And what we can immediately um, see is that he had no relationship to the killers. A workplace mass shooter knows his victims. And they want to see the victim, And they want to destroy, annihilate the workplace. It's another key point. The family mass shooter knows the family, wants to annihilate the family. The criminal enterprise wants to kill the gang. So it's a stranger mass homicide. And a stranger mass homicide happens for one of two reasons. Either a person acting for a cause or a person acting because he wants to transcend notoriety and kill as many people as possible, like a James Holmes. However... James Holmes, who was the uh, Aurora shooter. Who was the Aurora shooter. And And you worked on that case. uh, Yes. Here's the thing. Shooting for notoriety's sake, and nothing more, is a young man's crime. And this is a 64-year-old with no dramatic mental illness, no major decline, someone who's intact. I think if we want to understand what's behind the crime, we should look at James Hodgkinson, the shooter of, of Congressman Scalise, because that crime itself was intended to be a spectacle and, and of much bigger scope. Imagine this. What he intended to do, Hodgkinson, was not only kill all of those lawmakers, Republicans. But, but in doing so, we would have had to have special elections to replace all of them. And if it weren't for the security people who, who intercepted him, you had all kinds of congressmen and lawmakers in a dugout, defenseless, who would have been mowed down. My, my point is, a spectacle is either designed to cause some derivative impact or to instigate some cause discussion. So the point is, 
He's an older man. There's no definable mental history or decline, and yet it happens now. Now, if there is a cause, there will be a manifesto, there will be a communication with the television uh, or, or other kind of media or social media. It will be out there. If there's nothing to necessarily tie him to a cause, then instigating is enough. And that's exactly what the parallel is with another older man's crime, Hodgkinson, spectacle crime, just like the person who flew a plane into the IRS. People who commit crimes for notoriety alone are young, and he's not. What so, about genetics? Because his dad was on the FBI most wanted list, was a bank robber. Well, the, the genetics of psychopathy are, you know, of course, 50 percent we inherit roughly. But in terms of the genetics of, of psychopathy, they may be as important as, as environment. One thing that you want to appreciate about the the uh, Doctor, the mass just killer. Doctor, hold on one second. Yeah. We're splitting the screen with the President of the United States. He's arriving at Joint Base Andrews, and he's going to be heading over to Puerto Rico shortly. Of course, you know he uh, greets the military who escorts him uh, over to Air Force One. Okay, go ahead. Uh, tying into the President, people who commit mass killings of folks that they don't know have to be detached. And he's detached. He's many floors away. He's killing them through a scope. They're dehumanized. Here's the big here's the big take home in terms of what we can do to prevent absolutely people who are gun enthusiasts and who are populists or nationalists in this country are dehumanized they're demonized I I don't I travel all over the United States I don't experience hatred I turn on the television in, in certain media and I see these people demonized when you have a CBS News executive who talks about um, not having sympathy the point is his mindset is that they deserve to die. Yes. And so a person who adopts a cause may be otherwise law-abiding, but right. he's, he feels righteously justified that the end justifies the means. So we're talking now about gun control because he, he committed an over-the-top gun crime. Doesn't mean that guns All was right. the ideology. What I'm saying bit. is it's the idea of instigating okay. and a means to an end with people you dehumanize. All right, let's uh, back Whether up a little Whether it's this bit. or racism. But who are you shooting at? You said, look at the target and work your way backwards. That's right. What do country music fans and country music artists represent? It's Americana. It could be guns. I'm not suggesting or, that I know the ideology. Look, it could be that he had an issue with Las Vegas. But my, my point is because this is, you know, this is a national event. It's in Las Vegas. But my, my point is cause, cause is, is pointed out by what he says. He's going to either lay it out or, or he's smart enough to know what this would instigate. Otherwise, one can't speculate. What I am saying is when you kill complete strangers and try to kill as many as possible, you're trying to create a spectacle. And when you're not a young person, you've evolved past the immaturity that says, if I kill as many people as I can, people will think I'm somebody. He's more mature than that. Jeff he's Zellity. lived his okay. life. Jeff All right. So, uh, and there's more of that. You could probably find that online if you wanted to. Here's one of my thoughts here and one of my concerns. We have half of the country hating the other half of the country. We have one political party that basically believes if they don't agree with the law, the law doesn't have to be followed. Obama just changed laws, stroke of the pen, law of the land, whether it was constitutional or not, didn't matter. We're going to have the president create laws for dreamers or schemers, whether it's legal or not. And then when Trump tries to follow the law, he's evil. He's a racist. And Tifa comes up. All of a sudden, there's Nazis. During eight years of a black, the first black president, I ain't never heard of no Nazi. I haven't seen no Nazi, no Klansman. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. All of a sudden, Trump gets elected. And according to the left, the Klan is just uh, uh, growing every day, according to the left. The Nazis are everywhere. I never saw one. But the message is clear. If you supported Donald Trump, you're a Nazi. You're a fascist. And if you're a Nazi and a fascist, it's okay to destroy you. There have been pictures that I've seen that are supposedly of this shooter with wearing one of those pink hats. I don't know if it's him or not. But here's my concern. 
is the concern that maybe they do know that this guy, let's say he was a lefty, an Antifa guy or whatever. This is stuff of civil war. People are not going to put up with this for long. That's one way to look at it. The other way is the Philippines. Philippines is a very large Muslim country. He spent a lot of time in the Philippines. His girlfriend was in the Philippines. ISIS has taken credit. I don't know if I, I, I don't believe them, but it is possible he decided to convert and do a, some, a military action for ISIS. That's possible too. Kathy says, I'm a first-time viewer from Canada, Rusty. Keep up the good work. Don't let America become like Canada. Our traitor prime minister is becoming an Islamic state. It's officially against the law now to speak badly of Muslims, and he blames the recent ISIS attack in Edmonton on white supremacy. Hobart said he heard different guns going off in that video. There was a video we played a few minutes ago. But Hobart, remember, he did have a number of guns. And one of the theories was he would shoot the gun and then throw it down and move and grab another one to save time. That's one of the theories. Cheryl says, what about the other hotel? A shooter was killed. Hotel was on lockdown. Video witnesses showing lockdown. Broken glass. I'm not sure what other video, what other hotel you're talking about, Cheryl. Um, so you've got the Mandalay Bay. The Delano is right behind it, sort of. And then on the other side is the Luxor. And then next to the Luxor is Excalibur. Excalibur, it's too far. The Luxor, that's the one that's the pyramid shape. I certainly didn't see any broken windows when I was there. And I don't know how you could have gotten a shot off there, maybe. Then the next closest hotel is the uh, Tropicana, and that's too far. There is another one on the other side of Mandalay Bay. It's one of them fancy ones. I'm trying to think. Four Seasons. I don't think you could have shot from there either because I think the Mandalay Bay would have been in your way to get to that area. Mark says, did anyone see the video of the girlfriend saying America will die four days prior to the shooting? Now, see, Mark, that's that's not true. His girlfriend had been gone for a couple of weeks in the Philippines. There was a woman that came to the concert and yelled and screamed and said stuff. They're still looking for her, as I understand it. Gilbert says that they try to say this was from an AR-15. You'll know they're lying. Yes, Gilbert, you're right. Cheryl says receipts showing guests uh, with two dinners in the second room. Um, and he had a, a woman with him, a companion. There's another word for that. It's called a hooker. It's Vegas. Christine says, would you like me to send cell phone footage? Yes. I would. Bradford said, saw a video that proved there would have been a problem to shoot from cover from that high of an angle. Bradford, I was there, I'm telling you. It was the perfect location it was. Um, Aaron's agree. Yeah, Christine, I'm all ears. I would love to have any info you have. Yeah, again, I'm just trying to find the truth. I just don't want to see a bunch of conspiracy theories out there that aren't true. And I hope people are going, well, Alex, jump. Okay. Let's be honest. He's been wrong a hell of a lot more time than he's been right, okay? You can't say that. I'm saying it. Mark said he had zero military training. Two windows are clearly broken out in the same room. Mary says, I've shot a machine gun in the military, but the ones we had were very heavy and didn't kick up. They were very inaccurate as well, but that doesn't matter if you're shooting at a crowd of thousands of people. Yeah. Randy wants to know, how did his leg get under the rifle in the death photo? I don't know. Ann Palmer, the CEO of 
I believe it's the MGM uh, uh, companies, is Jim Murren. All right, where's the video surveillance footage? Doesn't make sense. Mark, you're right. We want to see... They're not showing us everything. Let's be honest. They're not, and they're not going to yet. They're still in the middle of an investigation, nor should they be putting all this stuff out. Should they? I mean, we want to know. We want to stop this. We want to know how to stop it, but they are in the middle of an investigation. So we have to, uh, you know, I just don't want. I respect you as an audience a lot. I, I appreciate you being here. And far too many people want to take advantage of large audiences. They want to rile you up. They want to get you scared. They want to get you angry because emotion writes checks. Okay? The madder people are, the more they write those checks. Ask the people that worked on the Tea Party groups. Okay? Ask the guys on the left right now. Donald Trump is evil. Okay, I'll write y'all a check. I just don't want you falling for crap. I don't like the lies, left or right. It's not right. It's not good. And uh, uh, let me get this here because it's important. I've got a couple things I want to show you that's important. Um, I will tell you that I've been under a lot of pressure lately. I bet you will have too. And a few months ago, my doctor was saying, you know what, you... Uh, I want to put you on some drugs because I think you're getting high blood pressure. You're, you're very close. And I got to be honest, it freaked me out. I already have type 2 diabetes. I don't need anything else. And a friend of mine runs a company called Zona Plus. And um, the Zona Plus is this device, it's a smart device, where you just turn this thing on and you squeeze, and it tells you how hard to squeeze. And you do this 12 minutes a day, five days a week, and it lowers your blood pressure naturally. It lowers it, and this is all it is. This little device, and it's got a screen on it. And you just follow what this thing says, and... It's based on technology that was u- that is used by fighter pilots, and I'm telling you, this thing works. I no longer am on the edge of having high, have having high blood pressure. It just it works. I've used it's 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 like a miracle. It's a miracle. I'm telling you. It's safe. It's easy to use. You can do it more if you're just sitting around watching TV. You, you just do it, and it, it's not it's not hard. It's kind of fun. Anyway, it does have a a 90-day money-back guarantee if you're not completely satisfied. You just simply return your Zona Plus, you get a full refund. Just go to ZonaPlus.com, ZonaPlus.com, and in the keyword use, or the code word, use the word Rusty. That's me, Rusty. And they'll give you $50 off. And you're going to be really happy with this. And, you know, Christmas is coming. Thanksgiving is coming. Halloween. You don't really give away Halloween. give Halloween presents. But how about instead of uh, giving your loved one your... And by the way, women have high blood pressure too. I mean, this is the silent killer. People die from this stuff. And so get it for yourself as a gift to your family, your loved ones, or get it for a loved one. You'll be glad you did. Zona Plus. Zonaplus.com. And code word rusty. Okay, Gabriel, this is where you piss me off. Excuse me for a second. This is the stuff I hate. No, I absolutely hate it. I hate it when people say this. The whole thing is fake. All of it. Crisis actors. You, Gabriel, are a dumb ass. You're a fool if you believe that. So my friend from elementary school, Kelly, and his girlfriend, Sam, They're dodging bullets. He's in shock still. But he's just making it up. By the way, he's a trained nurse. Both of them are. But they ain't know nothing. Pull your head out of your ass. 
I'm so sick of it. It's all fake. It's just making it up. You're an idiot. Jim says he was dead before the shooting started. Robert says, I don't know why or how many shooters there were. I've heard a lot of stories about how this thing is sickening. Democrats and some Republicans are violating their oath. They must be arrested for treason. Rusty, I don't know what automatic you shot, but the 223 or the 556 doesn't kick like that. It's easy enough to hold an, and an AR-15 and spray bullets. Okay, I have an AR-15. What I shot that automatic one was not an AR-15. I guarantee. Anyway. Cody says, it's funny how everyone here is automatically a lazy boy detective. That's true. All right. All actors watch their looks and actions. They have made a boatload of money on this heinous crime. What the left will do to destroy all people is pathetic. Okay, guys, again, this I, I got to stop it, and I'm, and I'm about done. This was not fake. I was there. My friend Kelly was there when the bullets were flying. This was not fake. It wasn't a bunch of actors. People have really died. People have really been hurt. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be some conspiracy theorist guy that's going to go off just for ratings. I'm going to tell you the truth whether you like it or not. Now, do we know everything about this shooter? No. Do I think people are dead? Yes. And it's a damn shame. And it's an even bigger shame that people think that they aren't dead. <sighs> that being said, let me just. I want to thank our sponsors tonight thetoymaker.com. Looking for a way to uh, do something with your kids, your school age kids, just something fun. Get them out of thinking about all these horrible things in the world. Go to thetoymaker.com. Look at all the fun stuff they have. They have free toys, too. They got free stuff. They got newsletters, free paper toys. It's not expensive. It's just something you, you make. Free paper toys you make yourself. You print them out. You cut, you glue, and enjoy. They're easy to figure out. You do it with your kids. And, you know... Get back to, to to stuff with the family, man. So that's that thetoymaker.com. Zona Plus. Save your life if you've got high blood pressure. Zona Plus. Zonaplus.com. Tropical storm Nate, by the way, pouring rain down in Nicaragua. They are worried about New Orleans now. By the way, Zonaplus.com and use my name Rusty get $50 off. And Dermend, Dermend Moisturizing Anti-Itch Lotion. If you're a seasoned citizen, this is specially formulated for your itchy, mature skin. Moisturizers, skin conditioning agents, Promoxine HCI. Go to Dermend.com or you can find this in stores. Walmart, Walgreens, CVS. Go get it in the, uh, in the, the right aisle. There's a lot of great Dermend products for seasoned citizens. You'll love it make a difference and something that helped my life last night in the middle of the night wax rx clean those ears out if you get a wax in your ears it's just the worst feeling in the world i i pulled this thing out at was it one o'clock in the morning or something and oh what a relief so you can get this at waxrx.com use the promo code rusty that's it we'll see you i might see you tomorrow night 9 p.m in the east 6 p.m in the west you can find the podcast the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion, any place you find good podcasts. On your phone, look on your smartphone, look at the podcast section, and type in my name. You'll find it. May God bless you, and may God bless America. We'll see you next time here. I'm Rusty Humphreys, and this is the Rusty Humphreys Rebellion.